Matt was an incredible human being. I knew I was going to marry him from our first date, actually. <laughs> he was kind and loving, and he was an Eagle Scout, the soccer coach, and he just adored his children. Matt was my best friend. In 2010, Matt told me he had the worst headache of his life. Unfortunately, about a half an hour later, he collapsed and we later found out that he had a ruptured brain aneurysm. His doctor sat me down and told me that he lost all of his brain function. I left the hospital on day eight and as you can imagine, I was angry and sad and scared. And I just cried. I wanted God to show me why, like give me some purpose. When I woke up, the first thought in my mind was Eddie needs a kidney. My name is Ed Klosky. I met Heather and Matt through my friend Angie. I grew up with her. They had listened to my story. I had been diagnosed with something called fickle segmental glomerular sclerosis, a type of scarring on the kidney. Over time, that scarring can lead to complete kidney failure. My life had changed suddenly whenever I turned 16. I wasn't allowed to do the sports I was always once in, go out and do the things with friends I was once able to do. I had to be put on dialysis whenever I turned 19. It's kind of a somber feeling because you're hoping that that kidney will come so you can continue it in your life because you have so much time left. I was put on the transplant waiting list for about 18 months. I asked if a direct donation was possible. Everybody told me it's highly unlikely. It was something like one in 700 that they would be a match. Miraculously, Matt was a match for me. I was with him until the end. I honored my wedding vows and he was taken into surgery. I woke up in a hospital bed and my dialysis catheter was gone and I had a kidney. We actually went and visited Eddie while he was still in the hospital. He talked to Evan and Chloe, who were two and three at the time, and uh, he gave us his kidney pillow. Eddie, on the bottom here, wrote, remember, your daddy's a hero. And we talk about it still now, about how uh, their dad was a hero. After I got my transplant, I had the energy to go out to dinner with friends again. I can eat the foods I always wanted to eat. I joined a league again. I was able to move out of my parents' house and went back to school. Currently where I am now, I work at a small hospital in rural Pennsylvania and I'm the lead MRI technologist here. Our journey after losing Matt, it's, it's hard sometimes not having Matt there to see all of their achievements. Growing up, we did a lot of organ donation advocacy and we'd go to the events like the Tree of Life ceremony. It has helped all of us work through the trauma and work through the grief of losing him. It's more, he lives on. I think our dad is a hero. Through organ donation, he was able to save many different lives or help them at least. If I could talk to Matt today, I would obviously say thank you, but I know that would be enough. He doesn't know this, but I love seeing pictures of him and his family because I think about if Matt hadn't been able to give him a donation, those memories wouldn't have been made. I shouldn't be here right now, but I am because of him. I did have a second chance. The way the world works and brings people together, the people that you need to have around you, it's, it's wondrous how it works. In my moment of despair, I found hope. And in my sorrow, I found joy. I don't think that I would be as emotionally healthy as I am today, and I don't think I would have been able to move forward as strongly as I did if it weren't for Matt's gift.